And the next slide shows the other three environments, kind of our government environments, if you will. Uh, the government environments, like we talked about before, GCC is essentially built on the same environment that the Office 365 commercial environment is built on. Uh, so, so that environment is going to have the same constraints. So where do we go from there? Then we have to look at the government cloud. So Office 365 GCC High. Office 365 GCC High is today certified to FedRAMP moderate and is in the process of being certified to FedRAMP high. Um, that, you know, we do not have, you know, they, do, they don't have that certification yet, but they're in the process of getting there. Um, it is a DISA level four environment, which means that it can hold CUI content, not just for contractors, but also in accordance with the SRG for government inst uh, uh, organizations. Uh, it is ITAR capable, like we were talking about before. It is NIST 800-171 capable as well, and it can meet all the requirements of DPAR C through G, which means if you have a, 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 an incident and you need to get, you know, kind of system information, incident response kind of information, if you are in GCC High, Microsoft will assist you with that requirement and will, and will uh, provide the information that you need. The challenge in the, in the Office 365 environment or GCC High environment is that today it requires a minimum of 500 licenses, E1 or higher, and an enterprise agreement to get into that environment. Well, that's a big problem for small companies. And many of you that are dialing today are from smaller companies, and you don't have 500 users in your environment. So it's a significant uh, cost uh, increase for you to be able to move your content to that environment. Um, so, so Brian, do you have anything that you want to add uh, talking about GCC High here and the, and the compliance side? I, I think you're spot on in, in the way that you uh, articulated this. One of the things that I would share is that for GCC High, we are actively working on uh, the FedRAMP High uh, authorization. Um, right now, we're we're prepping for the audit. We're working with uh, federal agencies on getting the authorization for that. Um, but I think you, you're you're exactly right in terms of the way that we think about these, and particularly. Uh, where we feel most comfortable supporting ITAR and export control data. Um, and, and this really comes down to the fact that uh, GCC was designed for FedRAMP moderate um, and, and criminal justice information. And really, in order to meet those more uh, specific ITAR requirements um, and even the DOD CUI uh, considerations, it, it really puts it at the GCC high architectural model that we have, where these in, this environment was designed for that specific purpose. Um, and something that we often get questions about, um, and, and Scott, you may have actually um, some, some insight to share here, depending on uh, how well I articulate it, but uh, the way that we think about NIST 800-171 is that those are the set of controls that can be applied to the environment, but doesn't necessarily say anything about where the data can be stored or those administrators uh, accessing it. And that's where we see the, the really the core difference in the, the Microsoft environments is that uh, for GCC High, we have those uh, necessary requirements both for the flow downs of DFARS um, and also all of the uh, crucial considerations that data won't flow outside of the United States uh, for that aspect.